This is shaping up to be quite a year on Loch Ness. More sightings of the Loch Ness Monster. The story of the Loch Ness Monster continues to give and give and give. This time, it's from Ross McCauley, seen here on the side of the lock. Now, he's been a firefighter. He's been a keen fisherman, as he describes himself. He's spent hundreds and hundreds of hours fishing on this lock. And he says he's never believed the story of the Loch Ness Monster until one day he saw something so inexplicable that his jaw hit the ground. He raced out of his car with his fellow firefighter friends, pulled out his cell phone, and captured what he believed was a giant creature about 12 feet long, 4 feet wide. He described the water as glass that day. That's when he saw something going in and out of the water. It was 12 feet long, 4 feet wide. And like I said, he spent hours on these waters. As an avid fisherman, he's never seen anything like this. His firefighter buddies couldn't believe what they were seeing. And as he got his cell phone to steady, we're able to see a little bit better this footage. This video has been enhanced and brightened so you can see the distinction and contrast between whatever this was and the water behind it. Just take a look at that. What is it that on a glassy, calm day on the lock, there emerges a 12 foot by four foot object. On July 8th, Ross grabbed his camera after seeing a 12 foot hump in the water, something so strange that he still doesn't know what it was. His firefighter colleagues are still baffled. They've grown up on this lock. They were near Fort Augustus. As they were rounding the corner, he happened to look over the water, which was approximately 200 feet below the road. And that's when he noticed a couple of kayakers there. But something was odd in the surface about 100 yards away from them. You can see here is highlighted in red in a circle. And he initially thought, well, this is nothing more than a large rock. But he's been on this water for many, many years. He's never seen a rock in that specific location before. And that area is deep. So before he decided to park his car, he noticed something strange. He said the object had moved, was now out in the middle of the lock. The kayakers were, were much further behind. The creature must have done 400 yards in a minute, he said, against the wind. Ross said he filmed it for about five minutes when he saw the hump. He never saw a head or a tail, but he just continued to see the humps in the water undulating. And you can see how crystal clear and how flat this water is on this day. What's remarkable about this spot on the lake is that when I was visiting there just a few years ago, my wife and I witnessed the very same thing coming around the corner over Fort Augustus. A remarkable sight as we were cliffside looking down into the water. And at first we thought, is that a giant tree that's going up and down like this in the water? And we both looked at each other and said, oh my gosh, did we just see what I thought we saw? And cars all along the cliffside started pulling over to get a glimpse of what we saw. Now it was, if you've been up to the lock, you know how narrow those streets are. You do not want to veer off and fall into the water. So we pulled off and this thing then disappeared under the water. This story struck me because it's exactly what we saw, almost in the same kind of conditions, very still water up on the cliffside near Fort Augustus, seeing this giant object going up and down inside the water. Now Ross said he never thought he'd be one of these guys to say that he saw Nessie, but here he is, Scotsman, who is a firefighter, who fells trees for a living on the lake. What's interesting about this story is that Ross is a tree feller, you know, the guys that cuts down trees. That's right. Not only is a firefighter, he's a tree feller, and he spent his entire life on the lake. So he understands what these things look like. He understands what it looks like to see a log floating in the water. So he said, I never thought I was going to be one of those guys that said, I've seen Nessie. And here he is, 35 years old, along with his firefighter friends, seeing some mysterious creature undulating in this crystalline water. Ross has been on this lake so long, he said, I've seen dozens of seals. People will often say that, oh, it's a seal. It wasn't a seal. He said, quote, it was not a log. It was traveling against the wind and traveling 400 yards in a short amount of time. I know what a log looks like. That's not a log. He said, you know what? If somebody can explain to me what I saw, great. But I don't know what I saw and I can't explain it. This is the first confirmed sighting of Nessie this year by an eyewitness. The other sightings this year occurred on a web camera, which we're just going to show you in a second, by another person who claims that they caught Nessie this year. Those sightings were captured by this man, Ewan O'Flanagan. He caught him on webcam. 
They've now been confirmed by the official Loch Ness Register for sightings. They say these web camera images are real. Here's what he caught. He says his web camera picked up the movement and captured whatever this is floating in the water. He describes this as four feet wide and 10 feet long, which is very similar to what Ross saw. Same width, nearly the same length. He said he was shocked to see it. He wished that he was actually there physically to see it instead of his web camera picking it up from movement that was caught on the lake. And this is a still image of what he caught on his web camera. He says there were no boats on the water, there were no birds, and it was completely still. Very similar to Ross's story. And you can clearly see in the video, there's no waves, there's no wind, and it's very peaceful. Now, when I was on the lock myself, it was, here's some footage, pretty windy and always that overcast there in Scotland and always that overcast over Loch Ness. What we saw was unmistakable. To this day, I will say I saw the Loch Ness monster and so did my wife. Let me know in the comments what you think it is. And if you love stories like this, please subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. We'll be back with another story next time.